Hello dear friends, Fisher here. So today we continue with uh, our beautiful stories, uh, The Power of the Spirit by Alfred Hosp, also known as Freddy in the book. And then today we continue with our story 34, part 9. So this is the second last um, paragraph of the story. So... Okay, let's begin. So we're not talking about lots of things about uh, uh, our ta life task and listen to inner voice in the previous uh, paragraphs. So now um, we come to uh, what Bruno said. Um, yes, friends, only here in your bodies are you able with good will to accomplish your goal. Since on the other side, that is in the spiritual world beyond this one, where you can't call anybody your own anymore. It is much, much harder. So you should be grateful for every day that you are allowed to live. But always live in such a way that you are willing to learn while you are here and serve that which is of God. We all have a task that we receive before we were born and which we have to accomplish in the span of life that has been made available to us. The length of a human life is predetermined by God. But if someone from a spiritual point of view does not carry any readiness within them to learn, and there then comes an early recall. And that means that person concerns must mentally, spiritually and physically repeat this in a later existence. Such a recall can also happen, however, when other people or the environment of the person concerned renders any further stay on earth meaningless. In this case, all of the people who cause this become responsible and must sooner or later make good the wrong they have done. Uh, uh, yes, dear friends, so with this verse, like uh, Bruno, and also, uh, also again, stress like uh, we need to live consciously and then with goodwill. So and when we uh, given this body by God, we give the uh, live on beautiful earth, or we given our time, so to accomplish our goal. And Bruno say we need to take use it, use it, and use it wisely, and then to accomplish like the life task we are given by God. And also, and he said like in the other world, which is in the spiritual world or the non-physical world, uh, beyond this world, and it's much much harder because we don't have a, a body anymore and then we don't have a like um, you know we don't have a touch we can't see you know we probably can't see we can't touch we don't have a you know the feeling anymore so we should be grateful like that we're allowed to live every day and also like we uh, must show our uh, willingness to learn to accomplish our task to walk on the divine path uh, to serve that which is of God, serve uh, the good purpose, serve like humanity, serve serve the people around you, your family, your friends. And then everyone receive a task, everyone receive a task in life to accomplish. And then, and then the length of human life is predetermined. And then Bruno once said, when you know at the moment you were born, you know when you're gonna die. So of course, after we were born, we don't remember things anymore. So we don't remember whatever happened like uh, in the other world. Some people, some highly evolved spirits, like they remember whatever happened in the past. And then as what Bruno say, like when the spiritual eyes awaken, so you remember, you see whatever exists on earth. So it's just a physical counterpart and always fade away. And then Bruno, he, he will obviously, he knows the earth history. He know he, he can see many things and then he can smell, he can hear many things. And then one, one day we'll be like a Bruno. So we just have to continuously 
walk on the path, the spiritual path, to always evolve our spirit, to always learn, to always、uh, push forward. And then also here in this paragraph, Bruno make two remarks. So, and then the in what situation people will leave early、uh, to this earth? So we we will leave early, we、we'll、depart like from this earth early. But whatever the whatever the the task we have not we have not accomplished, and then we're gonna repeat again. So basically, like. Uh, Uh, we have a task, and then we have a life task, and then another life. We always have another task. We always have some tasks in life, in one incarnation, or maybe in many, many incarnations. And then we always have to basically like、uh, improve ourselves, move forward. If we don't do it, and then there'll be early recall, and then we basically like leave this physical form and go into spiritual form. But we have to repeat whatever. Um, whatever the life we left, so basically, like we start where we left. Okay, so yesterday you did not wash your dishes, today you have to make it up. So you're gonna wash your dishes. So you either work wash your dishes yesterday, get the job done like、uh, pretty well, or you leave to today, but you're still gonna wash it. So, to me, my personal understanding is we rather do it early than late. So, but anyway, sooner or later we're gonna do it. Or you might argue, so we'll get somebody else to do it for you.、Uh, that happens in that dishwashing case, but、uh, in terms of our own spirit, and then it's always entirely up to ourselves whether we choose to do things early or late, and then sooner or later, or whether we choose to do good or bad. But we always have to make choice by ourselves, and then this spiritual journey, so largely, and then we. Taking responsibility for ourselves, and then we do things for ourselves. Others can help us. Nobody can do things for us. We have to work on the path that has been determined for us by God. And then, of course, like Bruno made another remark about、uh, in second situation. And then an early recall happens. So when the environment of the person concerned, and then doesn't serve any、uh, purpose for the person to remain on Earth anymore, or in the case like some people cause so much like, uh, um, or somebody cause a meaningless life to somebody else, and then that early recall will happen to the to the person who has been, um. Cause like who has been causing, who has like has the bad like、uh, meaningless life on him. So of course like the because Allah and the Lord of Karma and then whoever caused other life meaningless and always has to repay that. So basically, if we do the wrong thing, we have to make it good again. So there's no escape. Unfortunately, there's no escape. But fortunately, at least we know. We can make it make it up, so we have to. And then, of course, and on the other,、um, another day, Bruno was talking about this a spiritual grace, and I will leave that to another, another day to talking about spiritual grace and how to pay off your karmic debt. Okay, dear friends. So, and wish you have a good day and God bless.